Just came back from town and I picked up 10 barrels. Now we can get started on boat number two. And these are different from boat number one's barrels. It's got a lip on this end and a lip on that end, but the lip's a little bit different. And this one has thicker sidewalls. I like that, that's a good sign. Here on barrel boat build number two, I've got the trailer unloaded. It's time to go pick up some lumber. I've got to get some 16 foot lumber. That's a 16 foot trailer, should work out great. On the pontoon trailer, I've got the drums on. That other side is about what it's gonna look like, except for the front one will be cut into a diverter. Uh, total length is gonna be about 15 feet long, width about eight feet wide. I've gotta make these side guides a little bit farther out. The other two barrels are in the back of the truck. I've got the 25 Evinrude, it's waiting. And you've not seen it yet, but over in the corner over here, let's see if we can zoom in. That boat has a 28 horsepower Johnson, it's supposed to run has a bimini top, has a trailer. Only thing I want would be the motor. It's got a steering wheel, the controls, the bimini top. Here's a close up of that Johnson 28 horse. Gotta see if it runs, do a little tuning up on it. And I'm excited about the controls and the steering. No more sitting on the floor with your feet in the water. No holes in the deck. Gotta love that. And the boat, it's busted. I'm not gonna try to fix the boat. I do have a boat in the backyard, aluminum boat that needs a trailer. This one just needs tires. Oh, and don't forget about Homemade Barrel Boat, the group on Facebook. Go ahead and join it. What you got to lose? And the goal of this video, it shows that I'm kicking off pontoon boat build number two, but it shows you pontoon boat number one, all the highlights from that, all 11 episodes down into one episode. Don't forget to hit that like button. So right here on the front porch where the two puppies are fighting, we've got five two by four by 12 and two two by four by eight. If we look in the lawn cart, there are some power tools, chop saw, drill, extension cord, or some screws, speed square, glue. We're about to turn this lumber using those tools and these puppies into a pontoon boat, a 55 gallon drum pontoon boat. Okay, this will be the deck of the boat. We've cut one board, the 12 footer. There's a six foot board on this end. There's a six foot board on the other end. Uh, technically it'll be 12 foot three by six foot wide. Okay, all four corners are put together. First I put some glue in between. Then I countersunk two screws. These are two and a half inch screws. They sink down into this board. And then I put on a brace. The brace has six screws. I've got the barrel sitting between two two before's. And it looks like about 16 and a half inches is what we're going to need. So I'm going to mark here 16 and a half inches on all four corners. And then we're going to screw in these two two before's. Now the bottom two screws, we'll save those till we flip the frame over, make it just a little bit easier. There's the bracing. And here is my Reclaim deck board collection. So this is what I've got so far. I've got them kind of laid out. I'm going to space them out better, screw them down. So I just came in from the hardware store. Anytime you see purple, that's 70% off. Coal lumber, 70% off. That's an 8-footer, and there are four 10-footers. So here's where we are on the pontoon boat. The deck is mostly covered. I've got two big holes, compartments for, say, life jackets, paddles, maybe a cooler drops in one. I just ran the pressure washer over it. It looks a lot better. Just came back from town, picked up six 55 gallon drums. So I've just rinsed the barrels and made sure all the plugs are tight. Okay, for the first board, this is the center of the boat. I'm going to put on some wood glue. And I've got some two inch screws. These are exterior decking screws. I'm going to put those all the way across. cut my plumbing strap, hook it here, and then I drag it over and I've got a mark. These straps are 61 and 3 quarter. I take my wire cutters and I cut it.
Now the good news about these barrels, it's got a lip on both ends. There's a lip on this end for your strap. There's a lip on this end for the strap. And so now the boat is on the trailer. It is touching on this side. If we go over to the other side, it's touching on this side. It's almost like this boat was made for this trailer. The homemade boat motor is now on the back of the pontoon boat. So I'm here putting the deck on and these three boards, that's going to be your seat when you're running the kicker. And then in front of that, there's going to be a box where you can put your feet in. And for my spacers, I'm using the speed squares. Slide them down in between. Gives you about a quarter inch gap. So it's about to get dark and I've got the whole deck done. And then for this side, we're gonna do a before and after. The door has been built. And we have made it to the river for the first test float. About to get wet. Oh, and if you didn't see this, I've got my number on the side. It's been registered. We are legal. For our test run, we're running five people. Let's see how it handles five of us. We're going to now try to put on the 12 and a half horse. It's a bigger engine, bigger propeller. Maybe it'll push it a little bit better. We put the bigger homemade kicker on. Yet another improvement, I put a board here just now and a board here. Over here on the side, I've got the strip on, keeping stuff from running off the edge. Same thing on the other side, the strip is on. There's an umbrella holder here. We've got two cup holders. These crates are wired on. This is my dry box now. We've got the bigger kicker. It ran a lot better. And on the other side, there's a crate for holding your gas, your oil, I need a smaller oil can, and the battery. And this time we decided to go with a bigger cooler, which is four more cup holders. We've got a bucket. It has my tools, some ratchet straps. Okay, I was just drilling from the bottom. This is where my umbrella's gonna go. It's gonna be right beside this tube before and pretty close to the drum, the front of the drum. Now I'm gonna drill from the top. Perfect. Now I gotta build something underneath to keep it from going too low. And maybe put these brackets on under there. And we're done. Oh, and this is the Withlacoochee River. And I just cut two boards. These two are for that side. These two are for this side. And that's what the water deflectors are going to screw to. That could be a compartment for uh, 
things that don't matter if they get wet. And the good news is there's a seam down the middle telling me where to put the screws in at. That's going to be like a step when you're riding along you keep your feet on it. Or when you want to get back in the boat, you climb on that and you can climb up into the boat. Be a little ladder, one step ladder. Huh? So now with this little board added, I've got all my paddles organized. You need a paddle, reach in, twist it, pulls out, put it back. Not that big of an improvement, but the seat is all installed. It's ready to go. And no, the screws are not long enough to go down into the drums. And with it laying down, folded up, you can still open the compartment. There it is sitting in place and I think it looks perfect. I think before I tighten up the clamps, I'm gonna get some two befores and make some kind of bracing. Okay, so the back has been all reinforced. We've added one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards. And I'm just about to put the motor on. Royal Springs at the Suwannee River. Now the kicker is on, the trolling motor is even on. And we're at the river. Neutral, yes. Turn this all the way to start. One pull. So far, I've got the back of the boat jacked up and I've mowed around it. I've got the trailer right here handy. I've got to get the uh, barrel kayak off. But if we look underneath, I get a lot of comments about these straps rusting away. These have been sitting on the ground all winter. I don't see any rust. So I'm going to give those a pass. So if we look in the cans, both of them now empty. I kept going around until I used them all up. I think I got every nook and cranny. I have varnished the secret door shut. Yeah, that's better. So I got the fuel line all finished. I didn't put in a fuel filter. So just the other night, I picked up a 25 horse Evinrude. It is now sitting in place. Under the hood looks really clean. I've got a spotlight. If we're out after dark, we're going to look for gators. This hooks directly to your battery. I'm going to clamp this down or we'll hold it, whatever. I've got some running lights. I found this for a dollar at a yard sale. Drilled a hole, screwed this on. These two wires go straight to your battery. In the back where the water dam was slowing me down, I've got some plywood. Here, let me show you that. There's plywood straight down in this hole. If we look underneath, that way we can glide over the water. Instead of the water getting caught by these two two before, uh, now we can glide over. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
Just trolling along, enjoying the current, enjoying the quietness. So I just sold the pontoon boat. It's going to be living in this lake. The new owner's backing it in. He keeps the boat, I keep the trailer. Now we can start pontoon boat number two.